Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is doing well and having a fantastic day. Welcome back to our Viriontina career mode here on FC24. This is episode 21 of season 2. And today we face Galatasaray. It's the round of 16 second leg in the Europa League where we do lead by 5 goals to 1. So yeah, we're in a very good position and I'm confident we will get through to the quarterfinals. And then we take on Udinese. We're in brilliant form at the moment. We've won our last eight in all comps. And there are some big wins in there as well. Against Milan, of course, in the Coppa Italia. And Inter and Sassuolo in the league. So I'm hoping we can just keep it going. So we welcome Galatasaray to Italy in the Europa League. Let's do our best to move one step closer to that big final. Now Sadiq, Loriente. Can we make it 6-1 on aggregate? It's not a great cross, but the attack isn't over. Now Gonzalez. I don't really see a way back for Galatasaray, but never say never in football. I'm very confident we are going to get through. Now Castrovilli, and he does well to keep it. Castrovilli. Easy save. And it's still goalless in this second leg. Now Torreira. Here Galatasaray come looking to grab a goal back. Yilmaz, what a save. Down low to his left hand side from Christensen. Just a little bit too low, sorry, too close. To the goalie, more in the corner. Maybe it would have been 1-0 in this second leg. And that's a decent cross. Longo does well. But the attack isn't over. Now Tete. Oliveira. Now Zaha. And it's a good tackle. Goal kick. And the attack is over. 24 minutes gone. And although it is only 24 minutes played, time is ticking because they need to score four goals and keep us out to take it to extra time. And of course, if we score any more goals, they need to score more than four. Kwame, Gonzalez, now Castrovilli, Cordova, into Amrabat. Brilliant save. And it's a corner to Viriontina. Can we make it 6-1 off the post? But the attack isn't over. That's a brilliant header. Sadiq. Fantastic block. Castrovilli. Now Kwame. Cordova. Loriente. And it's a brilliant pass. And we're through. Sadiq, 6-1 Viriontina. And surely that is tie over. Sadiq on the score sheet once again in the Europa League. I think that might be seven in eight games. In the Europa League for Sadiq. Yes. Absolutely incredible. He's been so good in the cup games. Now, Galatasaray have to score at least five goals. Oh, that's a brilliant cross, Tete. What a save. 
from Christensen. The cross was perfect and it was a brilliant header. But wow, the save, superb. Galatasaray have changed formation. They've gone more attacking. But it's still not working. And here we come again. Now Sadiq. Fantastic save. 25 minutes to go. And I think it's safe to say we are heading through to the quarterfinals. Yilmaz. It's a decent run. Wilfred Zaha. Now Zaniolo. Very good finish. It's now 6-2 on aggregates. With just over 20 to go. Why the hell are you celebrating? Get the ball. And take it to the centre circle. <laughs> now Lombardi. Beltran. Now Kwame. Castrovilli. Now Cordova. Can we score again? Now Castrovilli. Kwame. Into Beltran. It's a brilliant goal. It's now 7 2 on aggregate to Viriontina. It was well worked. Lovely cross from Kwame. Absolutely perfection. And all Beltran had to do was get it on target. And we lead in the second leg once again. That second half performance in the first leg was so important. It was such a clinical second 45 minutes from us. And in the end, it's won us this tie. Now Zaniolo, what a save. Oh my god. That was a brilliant stop down low to his left-hand side. Christensen, along with Terracciano, of course, but Christensen in the cup games has been incredible. Some of the saves he's made, so, so good. Corner Galatasaray, and it's a decent cross. Good header from Kwame, but the attack isn't over. Now Tete, Wilfred Zaha, and the attack is over, and that wasn't a good pass, I should have done better, Van Anholt, and he's done well to find a teammate, Van Anholt, Wilfred Zaha, decent stop at his near post, and it's another corner, and it's a better delivery, 2-2 in this second leg and 7-3 on aggregate. Seconds to go. Here they come. Looking to grab another goal back. But the full-time whistle is gone and we are heading through to the Europa League quarter-finals. We've knocked out Galatasaray. Like I said earlier, that clinical second half performance in the first leg won us this tie. Zola back into Balogun. Defender does well, but the attack isn't over. Del Castillo scuffed it. 
and it's still goalless and that's a brilliant header now Barak Balligan Del Castillo it's lovely play Del Castillo easy save done really well to get past his man but the shot was weak 27 minutes gone and not a lot has happened so far to be honest so I'm hoping someone does score very soon and that wasn't a great pass and once again their attack is over now Kinonez and it's a fantastic run Gonzola, Gonzalez, Kinonez now Balogun Del Castillo off the crossbar and it's a goal kick oh my god it would have been a brilliant goal Mendes Gonzalez Mendes now Kinonez and that's a brilliant pass can we score that first goal Balogun keeper does well And it's still goalless with five to go in this half. And I'm not sure how that was a foul, to be honest. That was very soft. And it's good play from Davis. Now Hornby. And it's a free kick. And no card. Is he going to shoot? He does. It's a decent effort. But an easy save. He got it on target, but comfortable for the keeper. Now Ito, and that's a lovely pass forward to Del Castillo. Now Balogun, and Zola straight at the keeper. And it's still goalless. Mendes, now Kinonez, forward to Balogun. It's a decent save, but I should have scored. It's a great chance. Corner kick. Balogun! Good save at his near post. And it's a second corner. Decent header, but we still have it. Now Mendes! Easy stop. And it's still goalless. Udinese are winless in their last 10 away league matches with seven losses. And I'm very confident it's going to be 11 without a win. Now Kinonez, Mendes, Unzola, Balogun. Now Unzola into Balogun. Del Castillo, fantastic save. And it's another corner. Can we score that first goal? Kinonez, brilliant header. We still have it. Mendes gets deflected and goes wide. It could have gone anywhere. The keeper was committed to his left-hand side. Could have easily gone in. But it's another corner. Now Balogun off the woodwork. And we're still looking for that first goal. Mendes. And Zola. Forward to Balogun. Fantastic finish. And with 15 minutes to go of the 90, we're in front. Number 11 for Balogun in the league this season. Powerful strike from our number nine. Goalkeeper no chance. And based on the second half performance, it's fully deserved. We've been very good. Could have easily scored another one or two. Martins. Now Davis into Bravo. 
And they luckily keep it. Davis, free kick in a really good position. Are they going to make it 1 1? Martins! Corner kick. The wall did its job. Just under 10 to go. And the attack isn't over. Martins off the post. Oh my god, it nearly looped in. But we still lead. Earlier this season, they beat us 3-1. We're getting very close to getting some revenge. They did have a very good start to the season. The first eight games, they had five wins, two losses, one draw. Since then... 20 matches with just two wins. So it looked like they were going to have a good season. But they're now down in 14th. Struggling to find any kind of form. Now Bravo. And it's a brilliant run. Are they going to make it 1-1? It would be so frustrating if they did, all we have to do is hold on for a few more seconds. Now Zaraga and it's fantastic from our captain. And the full-time whistle is gone. It's a 1-0 victory for Viriontina. And it was deserved. We were so good in that second half. They caused us a few problems in the last 10 minutes or so. But other than that, that second half was all Viriontina. And we could have easily scored another one or two goals to win comfortably. And we've got all three points thanks to a goal from Balligan. So after another win, we're still in second, level on points with Juventus. Roma in third, Napoli fourth, Sassuolo fifth, Lazio in sixth. Five points separate the top six. And Inter are in seventh on 58 points. So they're not too far behind Juventus. Six places, but only seven points. Anything can happen in eight matches, especially when it's so, so tight. The bottom three is Cremonese, Sampdoria and Empoli. Empoli are two points from safety. Sampdoria, Cremonese are six. So yeah, it's not looking great for the bottom two. But it's going to be out of Torino, Empoli, Sampdoria and Cremonese who go down. Let me know who you think is going to be in the bottom three at the end of the season. I think it's going to be the bottom three as it is. Next episode, we take on Genoa. And then Lazio is the Coppa Italia semi-final first leg. And in the Europa League, we've been drawn against Union Berlin. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a brilliant day and take care. Peace.